I almost fell. <laughs> My name is Natalia, and I'm from Burke High School. Words are hard. And this is my poem, Eight Guidelines to Unghost Me. One, don't approach me. I see you side-eyeing me across the rink, new friend dangling off your arm. Let me make this simpler. I have seen you. It's kind of hard when you've fallen in front of me at least six times. Look, I'm trying to avoid you, but you're staring at me like I'm the skeleton in your closet, but you're, I'm the, you're the one I don't want to revisit. Two, don't ask me about my past, you representation of my past. Three, don't ask me about writing. This falls in the previous categories, but when have you cared about rules? When you're drowning, do you care how you live? We met drowning in the same current, rope around my ankles, you pulled me down to pull yourself up. That was the only way you thrived. Don't ask me about the only habit I've managed to keep, the only thing you never tried to save. Four, don't talk to me. If you haven't realized, I don't want to talk to you. Trying to rekindle a relationship is admitting we have a past. Hey, just don't worry about it. Now I won't text you in the middle of the night with terrible metaphors about how my life is becoming a coral reef. Five, don't ask why I found you again, why I suffered and searched for your number. I was possessed, convinced you were haunting me. Stop ignoring me. The silence is hurting me more than your words ever could. I am drowning in a newer ocean, a different ocean. You're not here. And I see our old friends swim by as ghosts. Time is moving on. I am moving along. It's only when I realize that I'm done holding on to you that I realize you're not the only friend in the sea. Six, don't ask if I regret it. I always knew we'd be torn apart that we can't stop time. You use me as a buoy, something to push down on whenever you are failing, but I'm done being a scapegoat. This is not an I hate you, but I am done remembering you for what you were. Number seven, don't say this is an attempt to forget you. One last sunrise before the nightfall. You have forgotten what coral really is, life growing on skeletons. So when I say my life is becoming a coral reef, it's not that you are dead to me, but I can't erase you from my memory. I've spent too long regretting who, regretting who you were. But I can, I am moving on. And number eight, the last thing you shouldn't do. Stop treating me like a stranger. Stop this stalemate. Stop turning every word into a reclamation. Stop acting as if every tear and smile we shared was useless. Stop being afraid to talk to me. Because all I wanted to tell you was thank you.